freedom. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the specifics about finances when it comes to Hitbox. It seems that there's some confusion out there in the community. Part of that's my fault because I didn't do a wonderful job explaining it in the brief overview, which you can find in a card somewhere up there somewhere. But I'm gonna do my best in this video to explain it a little bit better. Of course, there are some things I'll have to describe in very general terms, but I'm gonna try to use YouTube as a guide so that you better understand because there are those weird fringe cases where things aren't necessarily always black and white. This is, I just wanted to disambiguify, disambiguate, disambiguate, I don't know. I wanted to make this clear to you because a lot of people do seem confused between the two. Subscriptions and follows are not the same thing. Real quick, a subscription is kind of like a Patreon ongoing donation from the viewer. Whereas a follow is kind of like a YouTube subscription where the person gets notifications when you go live or when you have a new VOD or VOD or video on demand, however you want to put that. So just to disambiguify big and disan I words, I can't do it. Just to make it clear, subs are totally optional. Follows are also totally optional. So just wanted to put that out there. Your users, your followers, the people who watch you, they don't have to pay anything to watch you do what you do. When it comes to subscriptions, just to be clear, the way that that works is a subscription is $4.99. Of that, Hitbox takes a cut and then hands everything off to Freedom. That Hitbox cut, I believe, is a 30% cut. If I'm wrong, I will make an annotation somewhere on the screen that says otherwise. Hitbox then hands that revenue over to Freedom, and then Freedom pays you out via your Freedom ID and thus PayPal, just like your YouTube earnings per your contract with Freedom. Hopefully that helps clear things up to you. Now that we've gotten past that, let's go ahead and talk about regular revenue. Regular revenue is paid out per your agreement with Freedom through your Freedom ID, so no fuss, no muss, no added payment details, nothing like that. How much you make really kind of depends on how many people you're streaming to, how many people see ads, how many people don't see ads. Some people have reported that they can't get ads to work properly. However, 99.999% out of 100, it's just because the person that they're trying to show an ad to, or the people, just recently joined the stream. And Hitbox will only show ads to people every so often. They will not actually allow you to bombard your users with ads. Which pretty much means that, you know, you can't annoy your users too much, right? It's their way of trying to help make sure that everybody stays happy. If your viewers have seen too many ads recently, they'll go, ah, we're not gonna show that right now. So for instance, if someone joins your stream and then you hit the insert ad button in immediately or within the next few minutes, they will not see those ads because they just recently saw ads or possibly even those same ads that were gonna run. It's a great feature to keep for you from accidentally annoying your audience too much. As far as dollars and cents, it's really hard to nail down but I can tell you that they are very competitive CPMs. I'm not really sure how much of that I could talk about as per our contract with Hitbox, but I can tell you that Freedom did fairly well, and that, for instance, if someone moved from Twitch to Hitbox with the same audience, they would see no difference whatsoever and possibly even make more money just because of the higher CPMs over on Hitbox. Yay for group deals! So far, we've had a lot of people streaming, some people making more in one day streaming than their entire channel makes in a month. That is pretty encouraging. Now, also, it's important to realize that this is a, a wonderful platform for growth. A lot of people have made the point that Hitbox as a website is smaller than one of their competitors. That may be true, however, it's also a lot easier to stand out in the crowd. One example that I've been trying to give recently is this. Is it easier to find Waldo in a crowd of, say, 300 people or 30,000? That's really kind of the math that we're working with here. So if you're a smaller streamer or just trying to grow your existing audience, regardless of your size, this is really the place to be especially since they do have a tendency to put the small guy on their front page, quite often actually. And to recap something we talked about earlier, keep in mind that sub buttons and custom emotes are usually 
something that only people of 100 concurrence and above get. However, because of the deal with Hitbox, we got that at a much lower rate of anywhere between uh, 75 and 100 concurrence. That is a huge win for small channels. The reason this is important is it allows you earlier access to these features than you would have normally had. Financially, the little guy's sub button, anywhere under 75 concurrence, works the same as the big guy sub button. The only difference between these two is that your fans can go onto other streams that are also partnered with Freedom and enjoy the same benefits, but only for Freedom streamers, keeping it in the family. Networks and recruiters still work the same way, which means that networks still get their portion of whatever revenue is generated, and recruiters do too, which means that if you're a recruiter and you partner a streamer, you still get a very nice thank you from Freedom at no cost, of course, to the streamer. In case you've forgotten, every Freedom partner does have the ability to recruit their friends, family, whoever they'd like, using their Refer a Friend link in the dashboard. One other really cool thing is that Hitbox just partnered with a company that sells video games, and say if someone subscribes to you, they then get a credit equivalent to their subscription price for the first month to spend on games. So if you really want to push those subscriptions, keep that in mind. If you, if someone subscribes to you, that's the paid subscribe, they get $4.99 towards buying the game of their choice. You'll find more information about that down there. If you have any other questions, comments, matters of concern, let us know in the comment section down below. Till next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments please. And remember, believe it or not, I believe in you. Alright, I'm, I'm getting back in game now. Bye guys.